to get going, we're going to talk first with Amanda Gordon. Amanda Gordon is a clinical and health psychologist in private practice in Sydney. She's the founder of National Psychology Week and well known for bringing psychological wisdom to the public through her media work, especially on ABC Radio. She particularly addresses issues of grief, bereavement, trauma, and the impacts of relationships. She's the past president of the Australian Psychological Society, the peak professional body of over 27,000 members. She's one of 15 honorary fellows acknowledged for her contribution to the APS in the Australian community. But I can tell you that more important than that, Amanda has been involved in Refugee Week committees, in the New South Wales Reconciliation Council, in Psychology for Refugees, and a whole range of other really important initiatives by psychologists for human rights and for the well-being of, uh, of our fellow people. Amanda is going to talk to us tonight about about safety and respect in times of conflict. Amanda, over to you. Thanks, Melinda. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners. I'm in the land of the Gadigal people in Sydney, New South Wales, spread out. And I know we are all sisters in this. And I feel that particularly tonight. I want to say that I don't have a prepared speech, but I felt it was really important. Melinda felt it was really important that we talk a little bit about safety and how many of us have been feeling relatively unsafe in the spaces in which we work and communicate in Australia in particular. The lack of safety means that people have been either frightened to speak out or more worryingly have been speaking out stridently in a way that's promoted division rather than promoting peace and support for each other. And I hope that this evening we can see that we're all here to support each other and therefore we can shed that horrible sense of abandonment that so many of, especially Jewish women, have been feeling, that sense of abandonment, you know, that me too, unless you're a Jew, uh, that sense of the women's and feminist organisations internationally who have let us down, who have ignored us and have, have ignored what has happened to us and the pain that, and suffering that we've had. And if we can just let go of those feelings of abandonment and recognise that, for heaven's sake, there are 59 people on this call who all want peace, 59 women who are saying we're there with each other and we're there for each other. May I say that in the last weeks, not only have people reached out to me, but when I have reached out for support because I have felt unsafe, I have invariably found that people want peace. They want to support us and they want to support each other and they want to know that we are okay. And so this evening, we're hoping that we can all be okay and talk kindly and comfortingly to each other, especially in the breakout rooms where you'll get a chance actually to connect with other people in a really special way that might lead to some really important action. I, with Melinda and in fact, Peter, were at that um we were all together at that march in Israel just three days before the world changed. And we feel, felt and knew that the women there were there to support each other and to be with each other. And we need to continue that feeling. And that's what we're doing this evening. So we've made the chat one by which the administrators, if you write a question or write something on the chat, the administrators will see them and they'll ensure that they get passed on so we can address your concerns and your issues. But you're safe here. You don't have to worry about what's being written and be hypervigilant because we've all become a bit like that in the last weeks. We've become hypervigilant. We've spent our time looking at social media and the media. Instead of allowing ourselves to both reflect inwardly and understand our own feelings and reach out in a way that's not frenetic. And that's what I hope it can be this evening. Melinda, I'm happy to talk further either now or at some other point, but I hope that those introdu introductory words will allow people to feel free to contribute in this safe space as we work towards a more and more safe community in which we live in Australia and then also contribute with that towards being able to support people in Israel. 